Alright, and welcome back to Fast Break, where we are gonna go kick Frank's ass. I leveled up two times from our last encounter with him. Uh, you know, I'm just gonna set up my timer here. Also, um, I just kinda decided that Joe will appear whenever the fuck he wants, because that's how he wants to play. Not in a malicious way, just to schedule, you know? Uh, and that's fine. So... Fast Break is mostly going to be me from now on with Joe appearing occasionally until we can get together and it won't be a long distance thing. So I'm going to start the 30 minute recording. We're going to go down to net, kick Frank's ass. Yeah, so, you know, again, there's nothing new here. Ah, uh, shit. So, yeah, I, I really love this game. You know, I a uh, huge complaint with my uh, previous episodes, and this is for me, because nobody else has complained to me yet, which I'm surprised. I'm surprised there isn't just a flood of people immediately that just came in. Like, I was surprised that this just didn't get like 100 views and all of them just disliked it, you know, but yeah, they, complaint that I had was that I complained way too much about this game uh, and its opening. The opening's not that bad. The game's not that bad at all. I love this game. I love the entire Mother franchise. You know, I really do. These are some of the best games that I've ever played. I really enjoy them. You know, and I, like, and this isn't me lying. Ask any of my friends. I fucking made their ears gush with blood on how much I talked about Mother in high school. I really do enjoy the Mother Earthbound series, and I really do enjoy this game in particular. Um, you know, it's just that I've played through that beginning so many times that it, it just it got tiresome to me. You know what I mean? And so here we go. We're gonna kick Frank's ass. Fucking Frank, man. You know. I always do kind of question why Hank's always. Frank's always hanging out with teenagers. Well, I don't know. You know what? I'm feeling kind of ballsy. I'll fight these guys and sit around away. And Pokemon Charge 4 just missed. Oh, crap. I didn't mean to do that. So. Yeah. Fights. Not exactly the shortest. This. You know, but nobody played this game for the combat. You know, uh. If you read old reviews of this game in America, uh, like, a lot of the complaints of the reviews uh, basically said that the combat was shallow and too easy, and I wouldn't say it's too easy. I, it's easy if you grind levels, but yeah, in the first couple of hours of the game, the combat is very monotonous. You know, there's not much strategy to it, it's just kind of being the biggest and the strongest. And Frank... You are. Come on, can you at least see your shit? Oh yeah, that's a joke that keeps recurring throughout. I don't know if it's in the, the, the first one. I know it's not in the third one. They don't make too many jokes and Lucas doesn't talk too much. But yeah, they make a lot of jokes in this one about how Ness does not talk at all. You know, Frank Branderson, I- Dude, Jesus Christ, man. Frank, stop fucking around. You'll straight up cut a kid. So, I'm gonna heal after this round. Ooh, get owned! Look at you in the party zone, dude! Look at you. you gained 50 XP. Are you fucking serious? Uh, can I get the opportunity? Okay, cool. Fuck you. Uh, I'm gonna use my goods. I'm gonna fucking eat a hamburger. The hamburger bolt recovered 56 HP. I wonder if I could. Is there any. Oh, wait, these are all fucking. Forgot. There's not a lot of. You know You know, Frank, you made basically just a bunch of, like, power armor out of wood, you know? The United States military could use you. It seems pretty mobile, and... 
seems pretty practical in design. You just replace that with metal, man. You can get a job there. Even today, man, in 2015, we have figured out how to make power armor, but we haven't figured out a way to, you know, have it maneuver around areas without need of battery. You seem to have fucking mastered that, buddy. So, all I'm saying is that after you can stop this whole. Oh. Yeah, this isn't really the most impressive fight ever. This is... Ooh, ouch. Okay, that hurt like a bitch. And we're gonna use goods. Hopefully, I fucking swear to God. Okay. So, the thing is about. Like, I would use PSI, but the thing is, is that when you're on really low health, and it's the beginning of your turn, you always eat your good, because PSI, it's, you can't use PSI healing until I believe after they attack you. Yeah. And it was destroyed. All right, defeated Frank. Fuck you, Frank. Frankly, you douche, you got your ass beat. <laughs> this is my first defeat. Fail boot Frank is not just failure, Frank. Ouch. I know you've been asking around, so I'll tell you about Giant Step. It seems to be quite a powerful spot. Some kind of special power is stored there that allows certain people to perform wondrous feats. However, a monster sucked all, all the energy of that spot, and it's difficult to get to Giant Step. That's all I know. I suggest you collect more information on your own. The entrance to the path leading to Giant Step is behind the touring entertainer shack. Prickle, the mayor of Anna, has a key to the shack. Walt, you've become stronger than I. Your adventure is just beginning. See, Frank's probably stopped his gangster shit because, you know, Gygus' influence has stopped on him. Uh, and when we see him again, yeah, he's definitely quit his life of crime. Okay. You sure are strong. You got me, at least. Yeah, that's right. Fucking, I beat up your leader, and he's my bitch now. And now the streets are ridded of crime, thanks to me, Ness. Yeah. I always wonder what Ness did after the first game. I mean, he has like a plethora of psychic powers. Did he defend the city? Did he just do nothing? I think he missed all of it, you know? I think he missed it. But, you know, I guess I'm not supposed to be overanalyzing this. Okay, so here you have to talk to. What is this place? I forget. The flowers in the garden are representative of those in your heart. Treat them both nice. So I'm gonna step all over them. Ha! St the drugstore is to the east. East is the opposite of west. East? I thought you meant weast. East. Oh, I gotta stop laughing at my own jokes. Uh. Yeah, so I'm honestly, I'm trying to do better. That's, that's the project of this. This is for me to become better at this and, you know, kind of rework a formula and see what I can do with this. So there are lots of snakes and stray dogs around on that. Is the mayor going to let them just run around doing whatever they want? I'm here to protest. Actually, you know, he has a point. <laughs> Some suspicious looking kids are hanging out in the woods north of the library. I wonder if they're members of the sharks. To stop the spread of the game, someone should shut down their gathering places, don't you think? I've started a movement that will stop all the bad influence on the children of Bonnet. I call it the Fresh Breeze Movement. Hum dee dum dee dum. Well, I already defeated the sharks, so I can go inside now. Did I tell you that I saw a giant ant one time? Giant step? Oh, sorry. I did, I did ants mean to spoil it for you. Ah, oh, that's awesome. That was a great one. Trickle bugs me. Let's just keep this between you and me. I'm gonna tell me a brickle on your ass, man. Okay, so there's the employment office. There's not much to look at. I'm gonna try to explore the world for you guys. I know you guys, like specifically people that play video games in general, really love Earthbound. You know, it's one of those games that you can't bash. I'm really in a foul mood. Why? Because the bear doesn't like me. Oh. Gosh. I think I'll just kick back for a while. It just made me take a couple powers to sign this paper. 
No problem here. Oh, aren't you Walt? Is this is it school holiday day? Have you done your homework? Remember to brush your teeth before going to bed. Have you been whiting your bed? Okay, uh, who are you? Are you my dad? Whatever. Damn it. Everybody says the graphics in this game weren't good for the time. I like them. I honestly think that, you know, just it's fluently an animated, you know? Just like he has a turning animation, that's pretty impressive for the time. Most sprites would have just fucking been like, boop, 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 boop. But no, you actually give him a turning animation. So when, even today when you're using it in a circle, he's going in a circular motion. You know, it's very hard to do on a D-pad. Some suspicious looking kids are hanging out in the Oh yeah, I already went here. Stop the spread of the game, so it's just in other places, don't you think? I started a movement. Okay, I know this. I'm sorry. I forgot. Okay, so. Yeah, she got on forever. So we're gonna go out to the mayor's office. This is no... I think this is this was also in the first game. Did you beat up the shark? You should hear the talk of the town. Mayor Prickle is waiting for you. Try to do it, Janine. No, that's impression. It didn't work out. It sounds just like my uh like, and I love this style, sure, it's beautiful, and way better than Quincy. <laughs> Thank you so much for all your help. In the next election, please give a speech supporting Mayor Prickle. <laughs> Honestly, that'd be amazing. That should be a sketch. It's just like Ness's speech, and it's just like... And then the crowd just cheers. That'd be awesome. Hey, 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 I'm Mayor B.H. Prickle. It's so nice to meet you. You beat up the town bullies, punched them out big time, kicked their butts, put their heads off, spit in their eyes, and made them wet their pants. You forced them to promise not to make any trouble. Thank you. What? You want a key to the touring entertainer shack? For someone as great as you, giving you the key could help me keep the town peaceful. However, if you encounter a dangerous situation, please don't ask me to take any responsibility. I'll be able to avoid, avoid any responsibility, right? Yeah. You're such a smart kid. Here's the key to the shack. Yeah, too bad you didn't make me sign a contract. I'm gonna sue your ass if danger happens to me, which it will. <laughs> so, yeah, all right, awesome. So, we're gonna get the fuck out of here. Oh my god, you, I will eventually do a Let's Play of the first Earthbound game. I mean, the first Mother game. It's called Earthbound Zero over here, kind of. A lot of story. But, uh... That's gonna be not until I very much so hone my craft, because, like, if you thought, like, playing through this game was, you know, clearly didn't show that I'm prepared to play, like, more dated and complicated games. <sighs> yeah. I'll leave a cookie behind. Wait, how the? I thought I ate a hamburger. Oh yeah, it's probably because I picked up cookies from feeding the guys. But yeah, see, I improved there. Like I made it so that it was less tedious. Well, like that's one thing I learned about a let's play. Doing let's plays is nobody likes grinding. Nobody likes watching you grind. Nobody. Like, so I ride it in between levels. God, I really love this game, but, you know, there's some grinding to it. Not a lot, not compared to most RPGs at the time, but it was still there, you know? And they, God bless them, they tried their best to minimize it with, with you know, stuff like that. Boom, you don't have to go through your tedious battle. You've already won, just get the stuff. And then, let's talk to Dio over there. I heard there's a big footprint on the hilltop behind the shack. Oh yeah. Showing the huge diversity of my voice. It's either this or this. Or this. God, I need to come up with more voices. This shack was locked by somebody from City Hall, so we cannot use it. The reason it was closed because of Yeah. Can't even change your clothes. Our hotels are too expensive. I already beat up Frank. Go! 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 Door's locked. Key to the shack. Use. I'll use the key to the shack. Door open. What about that? Uh huh. Big footprint is called Giant Step. What do we. Name. Oh, you open the door. Alright, here's a. 
Drink it for good luck. It's called the Travel Charm. Awesome. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We are going to quit the Travel Charm. So now... What the fuck does that do? Whatever. What the fuck does that do? <laughs> you know, I didn't have anything there anyways. So let's just... Yeah, so there's a rundown house. I think, was there something in there? I think there was a good joke in the bookshelf. The problem here. The problem here. So here we are, giant step. It's the first dungeon, first real, like, dungeon in the game. Unless you count that weird fucking shit with it. The thing. You know that one. You engage the rowdy mouse. Oh god, I hate this guy. I remember this. His thing is I like they're easy to fight on their own. But like rowdy mouses will fucking call on all their buddies and shit. And then you'll be surrounded, and then they'll just fucking pick at you, and I hate these guys, they're fucking douchebags. So, yeah, these guys are douchebags too, because they're the, some of the hardest of enemies to avoid and sneak up on. Yeah. Oh shit! Yeah. They punch like a motherfucker and they're hard to sneak up on. There's a cookie. Well, can I carry any more stuff? Do I? No. Do I leave the cookie behind? Yes. Alt abandon the cookie. I'm gonna have some cookies. Good. I'll, I'll just eat the remaining two cookies. Use. Cause I took. They're very minimal in health. They're. There's a skip sandwich inside while it takes it. So skip sandwiches heal you and allow you to go slightly faster. Not very useful, but whatever. You know, it's not worth that detour. So. What HP damage? Well, alt attacks, riding mouse dodge quickly. Why are you grinding too much? Good luck. So, okay, thankfully in Onet is that you respawn without your PP, but you do respawn next to Mommy Dearest, who will automatically restore your PC. But don't you think it would be a good idea if you take a break? Alright, so here, I'm uh, glad you're back. Don't bother yourself. Others understand these things. Need some fire and scoot up to bed. All right, so um, I'm gonna pause it right now, and then I will start recording once we're back at Giant Step. All right, and I skipped over there so that we are back in the Giant Step. Made it without any ammo. Got some of my stuff back, and oh wait. 
Oh, cool. Okay, see you well. well. I'll gain 27 XP. Then we got the present. Set the present. There's a bomb. A bulk. Uh, yeah, we're gonna throw some shit away so I can carry a bomb. Bye oh, bye, cookies. Yes. Oh, you need some fucking towel that your buddy, son. Yeah. Oh, yeah, sorry. Forgot to do the stopwatch there. But whatever, it... It's fine, it's not the end of the world. You just continue on from there. Awesome! Okay, now I'm level 8. Turn up by 3, like what up by 1, max HP, like the power of PSI Flare at Alpha. Okay, so this means seizure warning. Because, yeah, there's a lot of lights. Like, this entire game is not for people that uh, get seizures easily. But, you know, I'm going to demonstrate it. Oh, okay, cool, I won. Get 27 XP. So I'm gonna demonstrate, so, you know, seizure warning. I'm gonna show you what PSI Flare does. I probably shouldn't have used a bunch of psychic points on that. Uh, so now I kind of back myself into a corner, but whatever. It's a devastatingly strong attack that attacks all enemies. Very useful. Okay, no. And I engage Roddy Mouse. Alt attacks. 31 HP damage to the Roddy Mouse. Roddy Mouse uses a fighting attack. So I have an advantage. I attack the chance for a surprise opening attack. Attack slugs very useless. How do you miss that? So there you have it. That's what it does. Uh, and we're gonna attack the mouse. I always wondered why, like, in the overworld, it has a red nose, but in the attack screen, it clearly has a black nose. Yeah, they will run fast. Like, if they... Ooh, that's not good. No. So, yeah. I shot a lot of jokes in this episode. I apologize for that. Uh, I'm just trying to play through the game competently. Maybe I should start making uh, more jokes, but, uh, you know, there's nothing really to poke fun at in this part. Fucking... Oh, shit, that was, like, right near death. Got a PSI heal. What kind of pussy gets his ass kicked by mice, anyways?
Like, sorry, that's offensive. Nah, fuck it, I'll just say it. Let's offend everybody on this show, that's why it's not so offensive. Uh, okay, so I'm Irish and white. So white people be all like, Sonny D, all right! So And Irish people, I don't know, insert your joke about alcoholism here. There, okay, we're even. There, okay. We can poke fun of ourselves and others. Yay. Now, then again, maybe I shouldn't worry about offending everybody because people get offended by the dumbest things. Like, people are going to get offended. Oh, he doesn't have any black friends? That means this show's racist. Doesn't have representation. That's so fucking dumb, man. It's like, oh, it doesn't represent, you know, fucking black people well. Well, if you're going to put us into categories, you can fucking put in so many different categories for us. And, like, black people is such a vague, 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 vague fucking statement. That's like... I hate when we try to separate it by blacks and whites. That's like separated by male and females. It's so fucking broad. Africa's like the biggest fucking continent in the universe. Okay? It's fucking huge, and it has like 20-something countries. There's a shit ton of different cultures. Sorry to get all fucking heavy on you, but uh, I'm just saying, it's fucking dumb to be like, oh, you know, black people will get representation. If you're gonna be so fucking petty about it, why don't we just be like, oh, you know, Kenyans and fucking uh, Irish people. You know, nobody says that. It's black or white. Why are we fucking putting this in such broad demographics? Like, Irish people are nothing like British people. But, oh, they're white, so that means they're the same. That's all I'm saying. Like... Everybody says you need, like, diversity in your representation. You know, you don't. Just make them characters. That's it. I'm so fucking tired of people telling us that we need this in order to not offend people. How shouldn't we be able to relate to people based off of their personality traits, their livelihoods, their hobbies, instead of the color of their skin? Yeah. Like, Peter Parker's not an autistic kid, but I relate to Peter Parker because he's a nerd. You know? If I was black, and, like, everything else about me was the same, it's just I was a black kid, I'd still be able to relate to Peter Parker. You know? Oh, great, now I have to deal with bats. The ants. There's a lot of, like, bat-type enemies in this game. Uh, just, like... There's lots of enemies that will just attack you in swarms and swarms. And it's not fun to deal with. Especially in the earlier levels. When fucking people attack you with swarms, you get fucking pissed off. But yeah. I digress. Boom goes the dynamite. But I want to play this strategically. Oh, okay. Fuck you two. Cold remedy. We're gonna need a cold remedy. So what we're gonna do is uh, go 
See if there's anything useless. Fucking cookies, go away. Mm. I'm gonna use it. Oh, I wanna leave the cookie while we're coming 6 HP. So, we are going to need cold remedies. Not for this level, but for the next one. Or, it's like the valley in between Onet and Tusund is notoriously annoying for this. Like, there's a bunch of enemies that will give you a cold, and it's obnoxious. Oh, crap. You know? Um... Well, you know, I think... It's almost time for the episode to end. Let's see if I can... Oh, screw you. All right, so ep timer's almost up. I will see you guys on the next episode of Fast Break.